Hey, what's up guys? Today I have a video on two look OLL and PLL. I don't do videos like this very often on my channel. However, my friend Rachel requested that I make this for her, so I thought I'd give it a shot. But in this video, I will be showing you recognition as well as execution of these algorithms. And in addition, I added in a full speed clip of me doing each of these cases so you can get an idea on the finger tricks I use. With that being said, let's just get right into OLL. So I'm assuming that many of you know what OLL is. However, if you're confused or just need some clarification on what it is exactly, it's basically where you have the top color that isn't completely the same color and the goal is to get it all one color like I have here. So you take an algorithm and you apply it and the end result should be having all the same color on top. To start off OLL, there are three cases you can get other than the one you are technically looking for, and that is the dot, the backwards L, and the line. And the goal is to get a cross. Now each one of these cases is approached in a very similar manner, and when I show you the algorithm, you will completely understand why. However, I know some of you may already know how to get to the cross, and if that is you, feel free to skip past this portion and just go to the part where you learn the algorithms. So to start off, we're going to go with the easiest, which is the line. And for this case, like I said, you're trying to get like the cross. So you do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And as you can see, you have the cross. And now similarly, when doing this backwards L case, you do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And as you can see, doing that same algorithm gets you the line. And now you can do the same algorithm you do for the line, which is F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. So at this point, you should be saying a pattern. And it works the same way for the dot case. You do the algorithm mentioned before and you get the backwards L case and you move it up to the top left. Repeat the algorithm, get the line, and again, repeat the algorithm and you should end up with the cross. So now that we have all of the white cross done, you may notice that the edges are not always gonna be formatted exactly the same way. For example, the two corners that are not correct here are not the same two that are incorrect here. There's actually seven different cases that I'm going to teach you in this orientation of the last layer or OLL tutorial. So let's just jump into the very first one. So the first case I want to show you is what I call headlights because the two white stickers are facing you and you hold it this way and do R2 D R prime U2 R, D prime, R prime, U2, R prime. So the next case is very similar to the last one, except that the headlights are not facing you and they're facing out. So instead you hold them on the left and you do R wide, U, R prime, U prime, L prime, U, R, U prime. And as you can see, you end up with yellow facing you, but a white top. So the next case is when you have the front right and the top left corner incorrect, and you do F prime, R wide, U, R prime, U prime, L prime, U, R. So the next one is one that many people probably already know. It's called soon with a cross and a block in the bottom left. And when you look at the top right hand piece, you can see that you can't see the white. So for this you do R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. So the next one is very similar to the last one, except when you look at this piece, the white is facing out. 
So you rotate so that the box is in the top left and you do R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R. So this next case has headlights on the left and taillights or two facing the opposite direction on the right. And there's actually two different ways of doing this case and I'm going to teach you both. But the first one goes R, U2, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, R2, U2, R. And the second way goes F wide, R, U, R prime, U prime, F wide prime, then F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. So the next one is very easy. You have headlights in the front and headlights in the back. And to hold this, all you got to do is put one of them in the front, it doesn't matter which one, and you do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, then R, U, R prime, U prime, twice, and then a third time R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. So for those of you who are wondering what PLL is, some of you probably already know, but if you don't, keep watching. It's basically where you have all of the yellow solved, but then some of the pieces are still not in the right place. So you, and what you want is a completely solved cube. So you basically do an algorithm that finishes up the puzzle. So the first algorithm can be very fun and fast to execute once you know it, but it's basically where you switch the two edges that are across from each other on both sides, so the opposite colors, and you do this by doing M2, and this flick can be executed with your ring or pinky finger, and then you do a U, M2, U2, M2, U, and M2 to finish it off. So the next one is very simple and easy like the last one, but it's where you switch to adjacent edge pieces. And you do this by doing M2, U, M2, U, M prime, U2, M2, U2, M prime, U2. So the next one is the first of two very easy cases in which each of these edge pieces have to rotate clockwise and the back bar is solved. So you do this by doing R2, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime. So this next case is the opposite of the last one. So the edges are moving counterclockwise and the back color is solved. So for this case, what you do is R, U prime, R, U, R, U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R2. So this next case is a corner clockwise rotation, unlike the other one, which was edges. So for this one, you have a rotation in it, and you have an X which means you rotate so that yellow is in front of you if you have white on top. And then after you do that rotation, you do R prime, 
u r prime d2 r u prime r prime d2 r2 So this next case is very similar to the last one, except you are doing a counterclockwise rotation of the corners. So for this, you hold the perfect block in the top left, and then you do R, U prime, R, D2, R prime, U, R, D2, R2. the last case that I'm showing you guys is by far the hardest one and it's where you switch these two corners that are opposite from each other and these two corners that are opposite from each other so for this you do an X prime R U prime R prime D R U R prime D prime R U R prime D R U prime R prime D So as some of you might know there's actually 21 PLL algorithms and what I just taught you was only seven and it's the only seven that is part of two look PLL so you might be wondering how you're supposed to solve ones like this, which you don't know. And so there's going to be quite a few of these that you don't know yet. So what I recommend is combining algorithms you do know, like I just did the Z perm, and now I can do an A perm, and that is some two algorithms that you just learned and can combine to solve it. So you're just going to have to experiment with the algorithms you know to try to solve the other ones. But overall, this should make you faster because you learned quite a few new algorithms today. So that is all for my video on Tulik OLL and PLL. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or some constructive criticism, please leave it in the comment section. I highly recommend that you all learn how to solve full OLL and PLL. But hopefully this will help you all out for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye!